New sci-fi troopers are here from War Games Atlantic. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we've got some kind of alternate type miniatures for you today. War Games Atlantic sent us over their latest uh, sci-fi kit. These are called uh, Les Grognier, or uh, the Grognards, as the stupid Americans like to call them, I suppose. It basically means like an old veteran, uh, where you probably hear like a lot of hobbyists calling themselves Grognards. Uh, this is where it all comes from. It's actually French, and I hope I pronounced it mostly okay-ish. So <laughs> we're going to take a look at their second sci-fi offering. But remember, they don't, they don't just do sci-fi stuff either, although that's probably what we're going to talk about the most here. So you can find them over at wargamesatlantic.com. Uh, right now they have a special going on, which you can see here, free worldwide postage uh, when you spend over $50, or I think it's uh, 35 euros or 35... Yeah, 35 pound sterlings right there. Now they have a lot of stuff on here. They have articles, uh, they explain the, like the whole death fields, how like all these troopers are basically time shifted into the future and they're fighting. And that's why they have these different kind of configurations that you can do with their, their sprues to make um, all sorts of different looking models. Whereas gas masks are just, you know, something that looks like it's semi-historical, but you could still use it in games like 40K or something like that. It's really kind of forward thinking and I really, you know, it's not just like copying something that's already been done before a bunch of times. You know, it's 2020. Eh, we've kind of seen a lot of it already. You know what I mean? But this is a this is a fresh take that's 100% usable for a lot of proxies, a lot of counts as stuff, or just you know for miniatures for you know just on their own, just because hey these these look dope on you know maybe you want a bunch of them. Now, like I said, they have a bunch of historical stuff over here. We're probably not going to talk about that as much, but I mean you know it's. It's really cool how they seem to be doing everything from the Halfling Militia. They do a whole bunch of, uh, you know, voting polls and things like, hey, here's all the projects we'd like to do. What would you like to see us do? And then you can vote. So they're they're very interactive with uh, the customer base and into like, hey, what do you guys want to see? You know, we've got these ideas, but ultimately, you know, we want you to be happy. We want you to buy the model. So that's really cool to see because you, you don't really see that a lot from companies. They're just like, here's our newest model and it's coming soon. Well, well maybe we would have liked to have a little input. And that's that's kind of what's going on uh, with these guys here. Now, when you click on, um, you can get to it in the store up here or if you just want to jump into um, the actual product page right here, you can kind of see what's going on. So they have some bundles too. That So they got free shipping if you spend over $50 US and they got some bundles, so it saves you a little bit more too. So there are lots of different options for stocking up on these miniatures. Um, then you kind of, you know, just read the description and kind of go from there. Now, these are sculpted again by Bob Naismith, which was responsible for sculpting the first um, uh, Space Marine models way back in the late 80s for Games Workshop. He did a Kickstarter four or five years ago as well for a lot of his own stuff, which are also inspired by Space Marines back in the day. So it's really cool to see that, you know, he's still, you know, flexing his designing muscles and really coming up with these uh, really cool designs that you can assemble a bunch of different ways. I mean, just look at this right here and we'll take a look at the box here in a second. So you get 25 models in here. The only thing, I, the only like point of like improvement I can even see, because price point, $35, 25, 24 models, $35. You just don't get bases. You don't get 25 millimeter round bases or 32 millimeter, whatever you want to put them on. You don't, they don't come with the box. And that's really the only like downside or point of improvement really. 24 models, there's 192 different heads in this box. It's crazy. And the weapon options are really staggering as well. And I'll show you each sprue. Um, there's two sprues, but they're duplicated. And we'll come talk about that here in a second and then put some of the models together. All right, so here's the box, easy peasy, right? Um, standard standard size box, unit size box. Like I said, 24 models. Uh, they're all hard plastic, 20 millimeter figures in here. And then on the back, it's just basically what I just showed you on the site. Uh, you get uh, four unique head types with and without gas masks for 192 total heads in this box, which is just staggering if you think about it. Like for the price point, the number of models, the number of options, it's crazy. Now, here's some of the different poses you can build. Like I said, uh, there's a lot of different variety in here. And you could almost, with these rifles, these rifles are almost borderline not sci-fi, maybe historical. I don't know if you'd want to use these as historicals. But you're not really pigeonholed into anything with this box. And it's literally probably one of the most, um, I, I would say, 
open facing, as far as options go, plastic kit that I've really ever seen in a long time. Sprue wise, this is what you're getting now. They've learned from the best. You know, they figured out how to optimize the sprues, you know, for options and quantity in the box. So really there's only two different sprues, but they're duplicated eight times. So you're gonna get four of each of the um, infantry sprue and then eight, of course, well, excuse me, it's eight, but I just put them in two stacks of four and then eight of the head sprue right here as well. So there's a lot of possibility, like I was saying, once we start digging into these sprues. Okay, so here's the troop sprue, and let's flip it around so you get a good look at these uh, legs right here. So three sets of legs on each sprue, eight of these sprues, so 24 miniatures, just like we've talked about already. But each sprue has three miniatures, three standard infantry, just rifle kind of options here. But then look at this, each squad of three, or each sprue of three, is gonna have a weapon, some sort of plasma E weapon option right here, a melty E weapon option, a flamer E weapon option, some sort of Gatler or HMG or whatever you want to call it, like squad uh, heavy heavy gun, squad heavy weapon, uh, packs, a pistol, different arms, you know, to support these uh, these rifles over here, a squad sergeant upgrade. Um, different, uh, this is just some sort of close combat weapon, stuff to just basically differentiate uh, the sergeant or the upgrade for the, squ uh, for the squad, and then some grenades right there, and then a couple of uh, heads. So you're going to get some heads on here, but the majority of the heads are going to be on the separate head sprue. And then here's the head sprue. I guess I should flip it around here so the writing isn't upside down so you get a better idea of what you're getting in here. So you've got some of uh, the normal heads right here or open face heads. You've got some of the cap style heads with a gas mask. Um, some of the open face cap heads right there. So very French for sure. Uh, then you got some Vestroyan type open face heads, some Vestroyan uh, type gas mask heads right here. And then some just larger, more in-depth, you know, they got the little feathers up there. And then you've got uh, some of the more poofier type hats. Now, I don't know the exact terminology of these hats. I'm sorry. I'm not a historicalologist. <laughs> I wish I did. To me, these are like, hey, these are some Vostroyans. And hey, these are some historical looking French thingies. Um, but I'm sure some of you in the comments will be like, it's a this. And yeah, you're right. They are. <laughs> um, and here's some gas mask heads right here. So I think, you know, like I said, for variety, I've never seen anything like this. Maybe, maybe there's something out there. I'm just not recalling it right now, but I'm just very thoroughly impressed by this kit. So we got four of these together here in the studio and we put them on 25 mil rounds uh, so you can see approximately how big they are. But here is uh, how they would look compared to a uh, 32 millimeter right here. So maybe 28 is good, maybe, maybe, maybe 25 is good, maybe 32 is good. It just kind of depends on what you want and what you're trying to do. And there he is uh, next to a Primaris Space Marines. So this guy, like I said, the normal rifle, uh, you're going to get enough of these for every one of the 24 miniatures that are going to come in this box. And they've got these, you know, really cool looking kind of long coat designs. Now, this is one style of look with uh, the cap and the gas mask. And you can have the open face if you really want. So, you know, this is more of like, I don't, I don't want to say it's Steel legion -y. It's more maybe in Death Quarry uh, with the hat and everything. Very similar to that, of course, would make great stand-ins when you consider, you know, Death Corps is... I don't even know anymore, 60 bucks for 10 dudes, we'll, we'll just say <laughs> US. Uh, and this is significantly less for 24, I, I think. Uh, well, I think uh, for some folks, uh, the choice might be kind of clear on what they're looking to do with their hobby dollars right there. Now, another option uh, is the little capped heads, which would make a completely different look. And there's the Flamer um, squad upgrade, which you get one of those for every three models on that sprue. And then you've got the gas mask head on it. I don't think we actually put any of them together without the gas mask head. So I apologize, but uh, you can kind of infer uh, sort of from that. And you know, some folks just don't like painting, uh, painting heads when it comes to that. Now here's the big poofy head with a, uh, like some sort of plasma E coil, coily weapon right there. And this guy looks great too. So he's a little bit, you know, once you put the hat or the, the helmet, the helmeted poofy hat, uh, it gets a little bit bigger in proportion, of course. And here's how he compares to it. Uh, Primaris. So yeah, the hat makes up a lot of, a lot of distance. 
<laughs> but uh, very well detailed, you know, a lot going on here. And they come with packs. You can put packs on here. There's a little pistol, you know, if you want to upgrade your sergeant to make them look a little different, you can. So a lot going on here. And of course, you can twist the head, have them look a different way, but that might look kind of silly. Um, but here's the sergeant with uh, the feathered cap and the chains or the saber saw and a pointy finger right there. You can, of course, have some gear around uh, the base right there. So that kind of gives you an idea of approximately the different styles that you can do, uh, depending on what, what kind of build. But uh, like I said, 192 heads in here, uh, a bunch of different weapon options, uh, some squad upgrades and such. I mean, you get eight of these. So theoretically, you could make, you know, eight plasma duders or eight flamer duders or something like that and completely dedicate a uh, majority of a box to just being the different squad weapons if you really, really wanted to. Um, there's, it's just really kind of sky's the limit here. Now we're going to compare them. I actually still have a squad, a squad of the Rom, Rom Jaeger, uh, miniatures that are more, more steel Legion E that we showed you, I guess last month or so. And there you can kind of see how they compare. These are more, a little bit more dynamic, a little bit, these are a little bit more kind of, um, at the ready, I guess you could, you could sort of say, uh, these do have gas mask heads. I don't know if we used the gas. Did we use the gas mask head? I don't think we did. Here's an open head right here on a, another plasma E weapon. And, and you know, uh, there's a lot of different, you can mix and match these sprues too, of course. Um, yeah, actually these heads would probably fit on a uh, normal GW guardsman. Of course, I don't own a normal game, James, games workshop guardsman because most of my stuff is actually a uh, death corpsman. So let's have, let's compare, let's uh, kind of compare that here to a death corpsman and put it up where the base is right there. So again, very similar, not quite the same style helmet, but the great coats are very similar right there. If that was, uh, you know, your thing, you could definitely swap out the heads or something like that. You know, kind of like I said, sky's the limit, throw resin bits on here if you really want to, if you find something that tickles your hobby pickle. But I mean, I think for the price point and the level of options, you're going to be very hard pressed to find uh, something better for your hobby dollars out there. If this or even uh, these ones from last time, the Rom Jaegers, are even, um, you know, uh, kind of up your uh, hobby sleeves there as far as the sci-fi troop side of things go. So make sure to check them out. War Games Atlantic, they ship out of the uh, U.S., they ship out of the uh, U.K., and they also ship out of Australia right now. Obviously, there's a lot going on in the world, so I don't know exactly who's shipping where and what, but, you know, check out their site. Uh, if you're just kind of going stir crazy and you need something to work on, well, 24 dudes will definitely fit the bill as far as that goes. So make sure you check them out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our future videos.